Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I'm here to share a journal that I just completed. This is my design team project for Tina over at Shabby Dabby Duda. And the the kit I used is Vintage Bureau. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, it's a very lovely, beautiful kit. And um, I'm really excited and love the way it turned out. Don't mind my table, guys. I forgot to go get a little pretty you know, tablecloth or something. This is uh, one of my working tables. So as you can see, it's not that pretty. It's little stains everywhere, but it's not too, too bad. Anyways, let's go back to the book. <laughs> I I left it, uh, I don't want to use the word plain, but it's kind of plain because I tend to put um, vintage um, lady images usually on the front. I tried to do that with this one, but for some reason, it I don't like it. I just love it the way it is. I used some fabric for the um, binding to enforce the spine. And at the same time, I mean, I love the way it looks. So this is the back. The paper is just awesome. It's amazing. I love it. And yeah, I used the clasp envelope for um, the closure and just, I mean, I'm sorry, for the cover. And then seam binding. Uh, it was like a cream color and I coffee dyed it for the closure. But yes, I just, you know, I don't know if it's me, but I just, I just love the way it looks like that. It's, it's just beautiful to me. So, I don't know, I was tempted to want to keep it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just love the feel. I love it. But anyways, let's get going. Enough talking, Patty. So here, oh, it's a one signature. I'm not sure if I said. It's a one signature um, journal. And um, on the cover, on both the back and the front, I used this beautiful lace. It was gifted to me. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember who. I'm so bad. But if you're out there and you recognize this beautiful lace that you gifted me, please let me know. But look at this. It's nice and um, sturdy. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like the usual other. Oh, okay, that doesn't go there, guys. <laughs> You know, it's not like this, that it's more flimsy, you know, the, your typical lace. It's just nice and firm, you know, and it's it's beautiful. I love it. And I bumped into it, and I can't believe it. I haven't touched it. So, yeah, I used it on this book. So here, I just tucked a few pieces of ephemera. I did uh, use a couple of uh, pieces of ephemera that are not from the kit. And uh, look at my hand. Jesus, that's my um, carpal tunnel, guys. But, yeah. There's just various uh, pieces of ephemera here that I use that I'm not sure who, but most of it is uh, from the the kit. This one is a guest check that I just created, and I used this. Oops, I used this image, and I think this these images came from Tsunami Rose. I don't remember the name of the kit, but it's just pictures of uh, vintage ladies. But it's been a long time. I don't remember that one. Um, but just added some lace, some trim, eyelash. No, it's not an eyelash. A cheesecloth. A little button. A little butterfly from the kit. This kit has some oh, space for journaling. This kit has a lot of uh, fun um, pieces to play with. That's one thing that I love about um, Tina's kits. They You have a variety of, of stuff to play with. See, like this here, this is a cute little piece that came with the kit. You could also just add it to a page, you know, in journal. I mean, you can just do a lot with them. Paper, you can do so much with these. And, you know, the good thing about it is that when you do a kit, you always have a lot left over. So you can make yourself two kits. I mean, two kits, two journals, you know. I like to save them because I like to, you know, mix, mix and match my journals. Look at the floral paper. So pretty. And then this is one of the ephemera pieces that comes with the kit. I just went ahead and backed it with some uh, a book page. And then I put another piece of the um, paper from the kit. You can journal on the back. And these, like I said, I can't remember who they're, who the, they belong to. But um, I just felt they went well with this kit. This is an envelope. Again, you can journal here. Or you could add a cute picture, small picture, and then just, you know, the date. And like I said, this is an envelope, and it has one of these. And this is just a cute little postcard. And then on this side, <clears throat> I left the flap open. 
get this out of the way. So you have the envelope there. It's been copy dyed. Again, added some of that beautiful paper and one of these little pieces that came with the kit. So yeah, she gives you a lot to play with. And then on the this side, I went ahead and added a, a card. This one came from my porch prints, I think. So I added some of those, a couple of those in the book. Here's another image that I think came from Tsunami Rose. This is also, you get the alphabet on uh, my porch prints. I thought they were so cute, little cards. Um, and then these two. I think this one, it is from Arts Artsology, I think. I know I saw the old design shop has something similar. I'm not sure if I got it already, but if I didn't, I want it. <laughs> because I love them. They're just numbers. I don't know. I just, I think they're cool. <laughs> Anyways, on this side... I just have this piece of ephemera so you can journal on the back um yeah i'm not sure where that one's from but there's one of the pages got a little typewriter there and you have a lot of space for journaling or photographs here i have one of these um uh, paper sacks oh no they're not here anymore i thought i still have them here but no they're just some paper sacks um I didn't put anything in here. Oh, I'm trying to think where they're from, and I can't think. But this is uh, the I decorated using one of the pieces from the kit, and then I backed some some of the paper from the kit as well, and then I added some lace on the back, some trim, and then just a little snippet there with a button. And yeah, I thought I had a tag in there, apparently not. So I've got to do some about that. But I left it open on the side here instead of just all on the back. And I saw this with, um, oh my goodness, from Tug Journal Junkies. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, I went, I saw, it'll come to me. It'll come to me, I know. But I saw her do this. She had um, like a little, she had a little tab too. I didn't add the tab because it wouldn't fit on my pocket here. But it's just a large page to journal. I thought that was so stinking cool. Look at that. So you journal on it and you still have that cute little image there and then you just fold it and tuck it back into your pocket or put a little um, tab like she did. Um, I don't think it fits in there, no. But yeah, I've never seen that idea. Preston White. I can only remember her last name. I can't remember her first name. Jesus. Yvonne. Yvonne Preston White from Junk Journal Junkies. She's the main head there. That's where I saw that idea. Okay, see, I knew it was going to come to me. <laughs> Here's some awesome coffee dyed paper. And actually, I used some of this. Um, it's regular copy paper, but it's the, um, like a cream color. Anyways, I copy dyed it, and I love it. It comes out more uh, dark than the regular printer paper. So I think I'm just going to keep buying that paper. Here, I just did a little snippet. And, um... This piece came with the kit. And then in here, I have a paper clip holding this. And this is just a little kind of booklet sort of deal. I use this piece, I'm not sure where it came from, but the papers are all from the kit. These little pieces are from the kit. And then on this side, I just used one of her little um, pieces and add, turned it into a belly band added some cheesecloth this little flower there some trim and then this was part of the um cover from the clasp envelope so i didn't want to throw it away as you can see there's a cut it was from the end so i just sewed it and made it into a cute little tag look at that i added some paper with lines so you don't have to mess up and then i added one of these and i thought it just it went perfect in there so I thought that was cute and it just slides in there no problem that's so cute I really like that I need to sit and make a couple more just for other journals anyways it opens so in the inside I added this piece for journaling and you can add pictures or more journaling and that's on this side now if you have it on this side and you open it on this side you have again another stamp and paper so yeah show it that way so you guys can see how it is 
so this way and then this way so yeah and that just goes around the page here so I think it's so cute I think I'm putting it backwards aren't I I think I had it this way yeah see I'm confusing myself guys and my paper clip so that goes there so that's cute I need to make more and then um, on this side again a little snippet and then one of the little pieces from the kit beautiful paper I love the way it came out I need to copy dye more paper it was working and then another little snippet here with the little butterfly you get a lot of butterflies too here again I use that beautiful lace and I made a pocket and on here, this is a tag I created with one of the pieces that came with the kit. Just did some uh, collaging on the bottom. Added some of this furry trim there. Some lace as a tab. And you could see the sewing, but you can still journal in the middle. So that goes in there. Now this one, I know I got um, from the old design shop, I got a French... Um, you know kit with letters like this but i also got one from taylor made journals i'm not sure where this one came from i'm trying to say it's from taylor made journals but i could be wrong because i got one from from the old design shop but these are awesome i just folded it opened it up distressed it so you can journal on the back and if you read french you'll know what this is <laughs> i don't know but they're cute i love them so those pop in there. Here again, we have another page for journaling. And here's one of my little book pages. And here is one of the pieces from the kit. Now this little baggie was gifted to me. I got a couple of them. They're so cute. But I didn't do anything to it. Um, I'm assuming the person that gifted it to me added this piece. I'm thinking it's glued in. And I don't know if she stamped it or that was already there. But I thought it was so cute. So I left it as is. I figured the person that owns this journal could just, um, you know, whatever, do whatever she wants with it. And here, another journaling card that I backed into a book page. And then some space for journaling. So yeah, those are so cute. And then these also come with the kit. They're so cute. And then again on the pocket here added some paper some cheesecloth and added this little piece that came with the kit really cute and on this side I have another cute little snippet and then in here somebody also gifted me these little pockets or little sacks I should say let me take that off so you could see it better it's so cute I don't know if they made it if it's a die or they bought them like that, but they're just so stinking cute. I love small things like that. And this is one of the pieces from the kit. So I just popped it in there. Okay, there it is. And then these two pieces also came from the kit. So those just tuck in there. And then on this side, I went ahead and added um, Vintage Lady. Ah, I scratched her with a paper clip. Darn it. But she's so pretty. Look at that. And I think that also came from Tsunami Rose. This came from one of the kits I purchased. So I figured it'd be a letter that she wrote to her sister. Because it says, Dear Sister uh, Millie. So, yeah. You can journal on the back. And there's the writing. So I thought that was kind of cool. So we pop that there. And that there. On this side, you have one of these floating tags. Slash pockets. And on the inside, you have these two pieces, and they're from the kit. Like I said, she has a lot of bits and pieces. And then on the front, I just collaged the paper and then added this trim. I made this cute little envelope with um, a piece of scrap. Added one of these um, stamps that also come with the kit. And I just backed it with some lace. And I thought it was so cute, so you can open it up. Do a secret, you know, little note there. Journal about something important or, or gossip, you know, whatever. It's your journal. <laughs> and you just pop it in here with the paper clip and nobody can tell. Everybody will be like, oh my God, that's so cute. But they don't know what's in there. I'm just saying, you know, that's just me. 
And then on this side, I did some stamping. I put Paris and then added one of those little pieces that come with the kit. So yeah, no pages are really left, okay, except for this one. But no pages, they all have something. Well, this has a beautiful, I don't know if you could see it, that's part of the kit. It's just light, which is perfect for when you journal. Here, I just made a little uh, snippet, a little tuck. And this, again, is part of the kit. And then I added these two pieces. I think this is from the old design shop. This, I don't know. On this side, another gorgeous page. And then on here, take the paper clip off this time. I have a postcard. And then this large one here. I think this was a freebie from a purchase I made. And it's just this large piece of ephemera that I guess I didn't shrunk it. But it could still be used once you fold it in half. Look, it says November 10th. I was born November 9th. How cool is that? So that goes there. And put that paper clip back. This goes on the bottom. And this goes... Oh, you could put it on the side too, like that. Then on this side, that's the other piece. And then it's holding this piece of ephemera. Beautiful page didn't need anything I love that here we got a corner pocket again did some collaging piece of um, just a piece of uh, another paper ah, a piece of a paper from another page and I just added that piece to the top a little rose but there and these are the pieces that are in here okay sorry guys I need a sip of water I feel like I'm doing too much talking. So this just pops in there. Here again, I use that lace again. As you can see, I really loved it. Look at that. It's like, I don't even know. I mean, it's like, like they, um, what is the word? I'm, it's nice and, and stiff, but it's like, and we've been talking Spanish now. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Love it. <laughs> and on here, we have a, another beautiful image. Another piece of ephemera from the kit. And this is another letter, again, from Taylor Made Journals. Or the old design shop. I think it's Taylor Made Journal. I'm going to say Taylor Made Journal, guys. Because I think it is hers. And those just pop in there. You could, you could still see see through a little bit of her. <laughs> and then here, another gorgeous page and a little collage or a snippet. On this side, I, get a, I had another little tuck, little snippet tuck. And uh, I know this came from one of my digital kits, but this one I don't know. But, yeah. It came from a kit. Another beautiful page. Another one, and I went ahead and stepped London, England. And then here we have another pocket. I just added some um, paper, and then I added that typewriter that also came with the with the kit. And then there's another little postcard, and then more cute little tags. See, she's got a bunch of stuff to choose from, guys. You could make easily make two journals with this. These are not from the kit. I purchased these separately, and I didn't purchase them not too long ago. I'm trying to say my porch prints. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look. On this side, another little um, snippet with the word love there. And I did a little bit of stamping on the bottom. Another one of these lace page page pockets with another tag that I made using a different piece of uh, from the ephemera from the kit. And then here is another of those French documents. So I think these are so cool. And you have all that space for journaling. 
I wish I could print them and then dye them, but no, it doesn't work for me. Only Mrs. Coggs has the ability to do that. There's another beautiful page. A lot of space for journaling. Another little snippet there. And on here we have these two tags. Oh, an image from Tsunami Rose and I'm not sure where that one came from. Oh, and a little stamping on the bottom there. Uh-oh. Did they put this back somewhere? I have to find where. Again, another cute little snippet there. This is the first time I make a journal with a lot of snippets. I don't really do um, that many. But, um, yeah, I need to sit down and do a bunch of them. Here I journaled, I journaled, I stamped Enjoy the Journey, and I think those are from Tim Holtz. Another awesome page. <sighs> Got all kinds of little bits and pieces. Here's another floating uh, tag pocket again. This is one of the stamps. There's some small ones and there's a larger one. And then some uh, cheesecloth. And let's see if I can do this. And I have these two. This is from the kit. This, I'm not sure where I got it from. I'd have to look that one up. But, oh, what did I do? Let's do that again. Okay. On this side, another little snippet. And then, what time is it? Okay, I'm still good. Another one of those uh, paper sacks that I can't remember where I got it from. And here I just added this piece of ephemera. This, I definitely don't know where it came from because I've been using stuff that I've printed for like ages ago. I did do the same thing here. Did the whole page from uh, Yvonne Preston. I thought that was an awesome idea. I just didn't add the little tabbies. It wouldn't fit. But that's so cute. I like that idea. I will be borrowing it again. On here... We have another paper clip and it's holding these pieces of ephemera. And this is again another one of those little um, flip thingies. I don't know what you would call these. Just a little booklet thingy. So it's like that. So yeah, I really like this idea. I gotta do this again. No, like this. And pop these there. And there. And there's the other end. Here is another pocket. Again, I used one of those little pieces that came with the kit. Added some lace on the bottom. Some uh, cheesecloth. A little uh, ribbon. And some of this trim here. And then on here, we have these pieces of ephemera. This one came with the kit. This one, I'm not sure where it came from, or this one. I just got this one too, guys. And then here, another tag I made, and I just added some of this um, trim for the tab. And then, whoops, I'm moving away. Another awesome page for journaling. And then here is the other side of that envelope that we used. As you can see, and I just have these little pieces of ephemera. On the inside, I got one of those cards again. And then on this side, I have another one of these. If I can get it out. These are so pretty. I can't remember who they're from. Here is another corner pocket. Again, another um, fussy cut uh, piece from the kit typewriter. I just put the word inspire and added this little piece of uh, trim there just for interest. And here's another tag I made using the um, 
leftover pieces from the kit. And these two pieces. And these are journaling cards, so you can journal on the back. On this side, I have another little floating uh, pocket, but this one's, um, well, tag slash pocket, but this one's made out of a time card, so you can journal on the back. And this is using my mixture that I'm starting to make it again and play with it. So that's why you see the... You see the color, it's not copy dyed, it's, what are we going to call it? Patty stain? <laughs> so I use my mixture and that's why it looks like that. And then that's the cute little tag, decorated, a little bit of a ruffle with some lace and a button. And then these two pieces of ephemera. This one's from the kit, this one is not. I'm not sure where that one came from. And then on the back, it's holding one of my um, first day of issue um, cards. Well, it's an envelope, but when you print it out, it's a card. <laughs> so that goes there. And then this is the back. Again, there's the lace. And here I have this piece of ephemera. And then this one is a large one, so I had to fold it in half. And so these all, or these two hide in there. So that's it, guys. That's the journal. Like I said, I love the way it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I, I should have kept that image that I was thinking of putting on, but I think I put it away somewhere because I don't see it. I wanted to see what you guys think. Hold on. I think I might have it over there. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, guys. Let's see. Uh... No, it's not. Of course it's not. No, it's not. But I did find the, the little sacks that I used. These came from um, Tuesday morning. The little baggies that I used. But yeah, I don't see the image. Darn it. But anyways, this is the kit. It will be listed. I mean the kit. The junk journal. It will be listed in my Etsy. I really loved it. I probably will go ahead and add the image that I can't seem to find right now. And who knows, maybe the person that wants it um, may want an image in the front. I Honestly, I love the way it looks like that. So I didn't put anything. But I, I will include it. So you have that option. Ah, oh, that's where it goes. So yes, this is it, guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Staying away from trouble. You know, and staying away at home. Being safe. And, um... Yeah, that's all for today, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye-bye.